Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, I can't remember a time when I didn't receive an AOL disc in the mail every single day. It was attached to every magazine. Uh, it just came, it showed up on the doorstep as if the store brought it in the middle of the night. Like, ooh, another yeah, AOL CD. David, like, they'd have just boxes of them sitting at, like, post offices and shopping malls and everywhere you went. It's like, want an AOL CD? Want but an AOL CD? it was the only way you could get anybody to get online. Whether they knew they were getting online or not, it was an easy experience. Because remember, it came around in the day. I mean, Genie, CompuServe, um, you know, th these were... Uh, pre-bundled uh, packages of software that would get you from point A to point B. I mean, back in the day where you still had to mess with Trumpet Windsock, at least in Windows, uh, in order to get a connection to the Internet because uh, Windows, the operating system, didn't come with a TCP IP stack. Even Windows 95 was questionable. I mean, I, I, it, there was a major difference in, in terms of the networking capabilities of 95 versus Windows 3.1, but still... Mm -hmm. If you could just pop in at that point a floppy disk, they weren't even CDs, a floppy disk, and yeah, get I online. I, I used uh, tape to be able to overwrite the AOL floppies and got free floppies. <laughs> You're just cheap, that's all. But Canada had a yeah. problem with the phone numbers in AOL? Well, urban areas, it wasn't that big of a problem, but so much of Canada is so sparsely populated that they just didn't have enough of the, the points of presence. Mm -hmm. where a lot of places there was no local AOL number to dial and people would try to sign up for the, you know, the 300 free hours or whatever anyway and end up paying long distance charges. Obviously their own fault, not AOL's fault. But Well, but now they've gotten to the point where they don't have anything, really. I mean, they've got massive numbers, but even those numbers are dwindling just because all they have is software that serves up ads. It's a nicer experience. I mean, yes, it is somewhat of a closed community that has ties uh, directly back into the Internet, but, you know, it's time has come and gone. You know, they came out with, uh, what do they call it, like a broadband package a, a year or so yeah. ago saying, here, download the software, install the software, and uh, you can still have AOL on your own ISP. Well, why would someone willingly and knowingly install what could be termed ad software, which AOL is. Make no mistake, that's exactly what it is. And they were counting on that. And that's the, the reason uh, why people aren't picking up on it. There's no value add. There's nothing in, of value in AOL at this point. And what, they la laid off 2,000 people today, was it? Something like that, yeah. yeah. They did or are going to? Well, I never had an AOL account beyond uh, having to use it for tech TV. Of course, I've got an a AIM address, but that's nothing. I mean, I use it to log on to AOL Instant Messenger. Um, yeah. And then... And I didn't, I didn't get that until after AOL had already acquired ICQ anyway. Yeah. Well, I have an ICQ uh, number so from way back when. I've had... Six, I've, yours is probably lower than mine. It I've is. I've had mine since high school. Guaranteed, it's low. It's six yeah. digits. It's, it starts with a one, and it's six digits. It's low. It's very low. I definitely wasn't the first, but that was way back when. No, the uh, uh, you know that that was the time where my my parents could have picked up AOL, but even then they thought that paying you know anything over ten dollars would have just been too much money; it would have been a waste. So then Juno came along, and I think someone in the chat room just mentioned this. Juno gave you didn't give you the full internet, but they gave you free email. So you could use your computer and your modem to dial in and get email. So it allowed me to send email to my parents. And that was, it was perfect. I mean, it's always been free. It was ad supported back then. Actually, no, I think they charged for a little while and that's when a mom and dad got off that and then we just ended up signing them up for a local ISP. Now they're on a very, you know, low bandwidth DSL connection, but it's marginally better than having dial up. But the, you know, the days of, uh, these uh, packages to get people online are, uh, I think, uh, past their prime. Oh, the web is just there. It's a given. Hmm.